Welcome back to another anime reaction. Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, episode 10 of season 3. I mean, last week, we got to see the seven days be some shady bastards who are going around and doing whatever the hell they want, like trying to kill the news reporters where Diablo was in Fall Muth, and then coming over and trying to kill Hinata with Rimuru. So I think we kind of know what's going to happen in this episode titled God and Demon Lord, because, well, um, Rimuru's going to lose his shit, most likely, because of Hinata being targeted, and I'm excited to see how he reacts, especially with the Holy Knights being captured and none of Rimuru's men. So with that, we're going to be jumping into the reaction, but don't forget to stick around till the end to watch the review breakdown part of this video. The Seven Days Clergy. These are the people hated so much. Yeah. yeah that's right, Rimuru. You're not going to let Hinata die. Yeah, shut up. We don't care about you. Oh, hey, hey, you even noticed. He noticed he was fooled. <gasps> Why would you do that, buddy? Buddy boy. Yo, I don't trust you. Wavelength that are identical? Oh, so he was the one that did that. So we got more slimy bastards within the Holy Knights. Wait. Oh, never mind. They disguised themselves as him. Oh, you know, these guys are seriously some conniving bastards. Ah, there we go. Oh, urgent report. What do you got? Uh, okay, Diablo, you're going to warn him about what's going on with you guys as well? Yeah, there we go. I think we called this from the very beginning that they killed the Archbishop. Just saying. Oh, Diablo, be ill-advised if we let them live. Yeah, we're about to go to something cool. Let's do this. Get rid of them. You have my blessing. Let's go, Diablo. Wreck them. Let's destroy them right now. Oh, this episode's going to be great. The seven days come in thinking they're top shit, and they're about to get slapped by Rimuru and everyone else. Oh, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> Benny Mars has been waiting for a good fight. <laughs> this will really turn out into all our war? I mean, who started it? Damn. Okay, we got the we got the holy knights that will probably be turning on the seven days. Okay, I think I called this one. I'm excited to see what happens now. Nah, you think it's gonna be that easy to destroy Rimuru? Huh. Pranks on you. Oh. Oh. Uh, let's go. Let's see the Benny Maru and Soy and everyone else fight these guys. Well, that's not good. Okay. Come on, Shion. You got this. You know, show them all up. Let's do this. Oh. That's not fair. <laughs> Never mind. Shion's got this. There we go. <laughs> Shion can hurt Rimuru. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Don't want to piss off Shion now. We must unleash it. Unleash what? A Trinity Break? Oh, damn. That's a cool looking move. I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Reactivating? So we didn't sacrifice it? <laughs> okay. Damn. No, that's how you know Rimuru is already too OP. <laughs> he made a backup. <laughs> okay, cool. Yo, shit. Dude. 
Not a problem. Abs Ooh, ultimate skill, absolute guard. That's pretty cool. Dude, Raphael has really just been messing with Rimuru. Just kind of letting him, letting him get stronger. Do they think they do they think they won this battle? I think they think they won this battle. Yep. Perfectly perfectly fine. <laughs> Rimuru, ah, now that we've literally done nothing to me, I'm gonna come and mess you up. I think you'll be able to fight this time. <laughs> Ooh, this is the moment you piss off all of Rimuru and his men, and he's about to slap right back. Oh, of course they're gonna run away. What a bunch of chickens! Oh, they can't handle this. Oh! Oh, what's this? Yo, why did the giant gates just open up? <gasps> it's God! Why well, wasn't expecting Demon Lord Valentine to show up? <laughs> well, there we go. Oh, uh, look, I knew Diablo was going to be fine. I figured his little berry would have kept them all safe. Diablo being a pretty cool guy protecting everyone. <laughs> like everyone's just loving Diablo for saving them. Oh. Oh. Dude, that look. I'll save everyone but you, buddy. Ugh. <laughs> Do I love how threatening he is? <laughs> How quickly the weak beg for their lives. Well, there we go. We got Yom going to be putting straight on to being the leader of Falmuth. Damn. Well, that was easy. Well, the plan is the plan is worked. I mean, there were a little few hiccups along the way, but hey. Uh, some kind of plan worked. Yomi's been put in charge, and we're good to go. How easy. And we can all thank the seven days for doing it. Yeah, take out the trash. I will say, their magic looks pretty freaking cool, though. Not gonna lie. Trinity to break is a pretty cool move. I wonder if we're gonna be our friends are gonna be picking this up. Dude. <laughs> Dude, literally. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Our spell has been dis disappeared. Oh, no. Looks like you suck. This will not go unpunished. What's happening? Dude, are they like been... Oh, am I going to hear a squish? Oh, we heard a squish. <laughs> Damn, dude put them into a freaking paper and crumbled them up literally. Oh, what a savage. He just took three of them out by himself. Now imagine if Rimuru was able to do that. He just slapped them right there and did the same thing. Damn, we're only halfway through the episode. How are we only halfway through the episode? That feels like a whole episode in its own. Lady Luminous. Yes, your god is upon you, who's also the demon lord. <laughs> what kind of joke is this? Oh, it's good to see that she cares about Hinata and is saving her. Being able to resurrect? It's also interesting to see that, you know, Demon Lord has holy magic. Why? Why is that the case? What could be going on? Some divine miracle? Okay. Oh, are we going to Hinata's life when she was in Japan? 
私はこの世界に落ちてきた。あ。あ。It's kind of what. They haven't really explained how people end up in this world. Like Hinata, she's just walking, gets put in there. And like Rimuru literally got killed and reincarnated here. So it's so different compared to the other people. Oh, okay, she's gonna have a slight depressing backstory. Okay, what fun times. Uh, after your father died, excuse me, she murdered her dad? Damn. Okay, cool. So I guess when humans come into this world from the other world, they gain the abilities like Raphael and like everything else. Like, you know, she has this. She's getting her unique skills and everything else. So it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. But he just got roasted alive. Oh, and there's her master. And it all starts here. So, yeah, it's a whole thing. 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 It's a whole <laughs> what, a, what a savage. It, it kind of is true. It's kind of a little true. Damn, Lumen is just dead. Are many years of lo loyalty? How do we know they were actually being loyal this entire time and they weren't doing their own shit? <laughs> Damn, literally turned to dust. Well, the seven days did not last that long. But wait, there's there's only six of them. So there's there's supposed to be one more? Seven? We killed six? Oh, I was right. There's still one more. He's going to be all alone because they're all dead. Oh, shit. Someone found out what was going on, but what are you secretly doing? <laughs> like, yeah, no charades. I know eggs. I know she exists. Easy. Oh, okay. Evil be gone. Oh, okay, then they're all getting taken out here. He's just gonna do it himself. Okay, <laughs> damn. Damn, literally all seven seven days got taken out in one episode. Get wrecked, buddy. Yeah, well, at, least at least this guy seems loyal to Hinata. That's good. Oh, damn. So this guy believes in Hinata as his, as his god. Interesting. Oh. Wait a second. Were the seven days these guys? Oh, damn. Okay, so they're really going to be going after Rimuru here, aren't they? Oh, there we go. We're catching back up with Veldora. <laughs> Look at Luminous. <laughs> She's already pissed off because of Veldora. I love it. It's going to be fun seeing them interact. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Um, Veldor giving her a secret away all right away. <laughs> oh, Veldora. Oh, I see. She's just beating him. Okay. <laughs> They're all just letting it happen. They're like, ah, he did this to himself. <laughs> <laughs> cool there we go tempest is now a western province and is recognized that's great damn okay honestly for that part of the story because i feel like that kind of wrapped up that portion of everything I think that was a great ending. That was a great ending to wrap everything up for that portion of it. That was a great wrap up to the Demon Lord, Demon Lord Luminous part to kind of get her and Rimuru to interact. And I think the Veldor part was really fun. That was a great episode. Seven days, got everything they goddamn deserved. And that was a fantastic, like, reckoning to watch them get slapped around like no tomorrow. So let me know, what did you think of this episode? Did you have a good time watching it? And if you like my reaction, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot. You can stay up to date with all my content. And with that, let's go into the review breakdown part of this video. That episode was so goddamn satisfying watching the seven days get so goddamn wrecked by all of Rimuru's pals. Like, that was such a good episode. I am, like, the animation looked great. The moves looked really cool and i love the humor mixed in with the really serious moments that's what i love about this anime i mean the first handful of episodes were just a lot of talking but i honestly think it was so much worth to get all that talking to set up all of this because the payoff was just so good and i mean obviously we're not done yet we're 10 episodes and there's still like 14 in the season i think anyways so I'm excited to see what comes next because this episode was so good. Watching the seven days get absolutely wrecked. Watching Diablo literally crumple them like a freaking paper of manga. It was so great to watch him be so freaking OP. And I don't think Rimuru understands how strong Diablo is yet. And I, I can't wait for him to learn because it's going to be cool. Plus, we got Shion also being super OP, literally bending reality to her will with her unique skill. And I love how Raphael was even like, oh, Rimuru, you gotta be careful because she could kill you. Which I think is funny. Raphael really likes to poke fun at Rimuru, set him up for stuff, and just knows he can overcome it. Even get him to use his upgraded gluttony skill. I know, I know it has a different name. I just suck at pronouncing. I love how Raphael was like, oh yeah, I'm in a backup. You're fine. You literally can make backups. Like, so we're never going to lose a skill. He's just going to always create backups. And I love how he has that guardian skill now. That was pretty sick. Literally just taking the attack, standing there like nothing. And then the seven days being like, ah, shit, we can't do this. We got to leave. Just for Lady Luminous to show up, stop them in their tracks, and execute them. Like, all of them got wrecked so quickly in this episode. I was not expecting that. And I love how Nicholas also killed the other one. Just because he's like, ah, you know what you guys did to Hinata? You tried to kill her. Yeah, I'm not having that. She's my god. And I like how it led into the five elders who were controlling the West. like now we have them being involved in this i i'm kind of curious if they were all the seven days or if the old guy was just one of them so it sets up some very interesting stuff because obviously they're going to be going after Rimuru now the guy can't control the financial parts of the west they're not letting that happen they don't want demon lord taking control and they're going to be after them especially now that Rimuru has literally been making friends with all the demon lords so it's going to be cool to see what happens going forward because Rimuru is just making friends with everyone and i think luminous just needed to have her nice little revenge on veldora and torture him a little bit for all the freaking pain he causes her like, that was a fun scene i love how she's just shocking and Rimuru and them are just watching it happen and the holy knights are like this is this is veldora we were scared of him he doesn't seem that scary so i like how they're playing with this it's a lot of fun and i like how you have all these really op characters who kind of act like children but what a fantastic episode i can't wait to see what happens next because obviously we're gonna have to have we're gonna see more luminous with with rimuru kind of talking having some peace negotiations so that their nations can live in peace and seeing what goes from there and then we have all the other meddling going on so i'm excited to see what happens oh and you know yom's gonna be king so that's pretty cool and i can't wait to see what happens next yeah i think i've said that like three times now i'm excited I'm happy. This was a great episode. I can't wait for more. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments down below. What was your favorite moment? And if there's anything you want to talk about, let's discuss. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next week when we watch another episode of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime.